Katie Price's children Jr. and Princess Andre have unfollowed her fiancé Carl Woods shortly after he denied hitting the star. While the teens, aged 16 and 14 respectively, have previously featured heavily on Carl's Instagram, it seems the duo have now unfollowed the Love Island star. Mail Online has contacted Katie's representatives for comment. Carl cannot be seen among the 843 accounts followed by Princess, nor the 391 pages Junior follows on his own Instagram page. Katie shares Junior and Princess with Peter Andre, her eldest son Harvey, 19, with ex Dwight York, and Jet, 8, and Bunny, 7 with Kieran Haler. On Monday, Carl shared an Instagram post in which he denied hitting Katie, two weeks after she was allegedly assaulted by a man at a house in Essex. Police were called to the Essex property at around 1.30 a.m. on August 23, and a man was subsequently arrested on suspicion of assault, theft and coercive and controlling behavior. He has since been released on bail. Following the attack, photos showed Katie with a bruise on her cheek and an injured lip. The mother of five, 43, said that she was attacked as she watched TV. The former glamour model and her fiancé were pictured together for the first time since the alleged assault last week, when they arrived in a grey Bentley at Katie's £2 million home, nicknamed Mucky Mansion, in Surrey. During the outing, a solemn-faced Katie sat in the passenger seat and stared out the window, while Carl appeared to be talking to her. Katie, who has beefed up security following the alleged attack, was accompanied by a police car. Breaking his silence since the alleged assault, Woods took to Instagram to say, I have remained quiet until now due to the investigation being carried out by the police however I have found it so difficult to keep quiet on social media due to speculation and shocking abuse that I have received. Anybody who thinks I hit Katie are completely delusional and have no idea of the reality of the situation. I have never and never would do anything to hurt Katie. The truth will be told. Katie began dating former Love Island star Carl Woods in June 2020 and announced their engagement in April, just six weeks after her divorce from her third husband Kieran Haler, 34, was finalized. Despite the support of her loved ones, the glamour model still doesn't feel safe, and has been beefing up the security in the wake of her attack. Last Tuesday, the day after the assault, Katie was pictured with bruises to her face and told the son, I'm still all dazed. I'm devastated. I ran away after being punched, I ran to Harvey's house nearby and have now done damage to my feet which I previously injured. Katie said she was attacked as she watched TV, forcing her to flee in terror to her eldest son's nearby home. She said the alleged assault was unprovoked, adding, I was just sitting there watching telly when the assault happened. Neighbors said they heard loads of shouting and screaming on the night the model was rushed to hospital. One neighbor told Mail Online, there was something kicking off because I heard loads of shouting and screaming. It was definitely going off. It was antisocial and sounded like a load of pee heads coming back from the pub. There was a real kerfuffle. Then I saw a car parked across the road for ages. Around half an hour after that I heard loads of talking. I came downstairs to see what was going, but I don't know what time it was because I didn't have my phone with me. I didn't see or hear any cops. I didn't see any blue lights. 
Another said, we heard an argument at about 11 p.m. I didn't hear anything at 1. 30 a.m. when the police were supposed to have been called because I was asleep. I know that Katie Price had been living next door. I don't think I had heard any big arguments before last night. Woods Post comes after it was revealed that BBC One have commissioned a follow-up documentary to the film Katie Price, Harvey and Me which will be called Katie Price, What Harvey Did Next. In January, Katie Price, Harvey and Me followed the former glamour model, 43, and her son Harvey, 19, who is on the autism spectrum and was born with disabilities including partial blindness, ADHD and prader willi syndrome, as they navigated daily life. It was released to huge critical and audience acclaim, gathering over 5 million viewers in 30 days on iPlayer, and becoming the biggest BBC documentary of the period for 16 to 34 year olds. Critics also praised the documentary for opening up the conversation about raising disabled children. Harvey and me followed the pair as they navigated Harvey's transition into adulthood and further away from home. Katie met other parents of disabled children and the film shone a light on the little-known issues around care provision and education for those with complex needs.